So this is Chango. Yeah. Uh, he's going to be the new celebrity guest for the Jeju Island installation of this blog. <laughs> Chango, introduce yourself to the audience. Oh yes. Okay. Uh, hello, everybody. My name is Chando. I'm Javi introducing Jeju to the world. Welcome to Jeju Island. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. So we left Seoul. We've arrived in Jeju. Um, and I'm here at the Osaluk Green Tea Fields to get to experience apparently the finest tea you'll find in Korea. So this is the tea museum. It's not quite actually what I was expecting. First of all, it's got Stairway to Heaven playing on the pan pipes, which ups it a little bit in my estimation. And then it's also got artwork inspired by tea culture during the Goyeo dynasty. Um, tea was flourishing, but during the Joseon dynasty, which is a bit more famous, because that's when Buddhism was suppressed, tea culture began to flounder a little bit. Um, but it's always been part of royal ceremonies. So tea has a real historical and cultural and religious significance in Korea. So this is the view from the top of the museum, where you can see all of the tea fields. Now, I don't know about anyone else, but I didn't actually realise what tea plantations looked like, which is embarrassing considering how much tea I drink. But it's like a perfect hedgerow, the sort of hedgerow you find in the English countryside gardens. It's, it's cool. And also, I don't know if you can see from here, but even the leaves look like they should be an English garden. <laughs> um, and it smells, the smell around you isn't like green tea when it's dried in England, it's totally different. <laughs> 